I intended to drop 30 to 40 pounds this season. After already dropping 72 pounds, dropping an additional 30 to 40 has proven to be harder than I anticipated. But I haven't given up. I've hit the gym daily and will continue to do so until my ultimate goal is reached. Challenges will always arise, especially when you're attempting to achieve something that doesn't seem possible to the everyday person. At the tail end of this video, I talk about the changes my body's gone through in these last 10 weeks. And today is chest day. My body is transforming underneath all the layers of fat. And at the very least, I'm grateful for that and for the self-love and self-care. Because if nothing else, I do feel great after every workout. And the days I don't want to work out, discipline carries me through. Especially when I read the morning text from my brother asking me if I'm up already. My brother's homie Slim introduced this workout along with a couple other ones. He used to be a baseball player back in the day and said this was good for conditioning the chest, amongst a couple other muscles. There's been a lot more people around us who've reached out and sent us messages or expressed some level of appreciation for the content we're putting out. I love that our transparency and our journey to weight loss and fitness are helping others. As we learn along the way, we grow together, and that to me makes all of these videos worth it. My brother and I function on sharing what is and isn't working for us, so that others who are looking to start the journey have some form of guidance or encouragement. These last 12 weeks have been incredibly hard, but I persevered every week and gave myself some love every week, every day. This is now episode 10. And if this, 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 this is my son sitting at the table. I'm not gonna turn the camera because he said he don't wanna be on camera, but this particular season has been about cutting weight 30 to 40 pounds. And I regret to inform y'all, I haven't even cut 20. It's been a lot of up and down of cutting weight and then shooting back up. And I don't know why, but I think I finally figured it out. My phone, that, 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 that Doug's routine we've been doing is about cutting, or not cutting, but bulking up. And though I might not look like I've lost 30 pounds, feel like it, at the very least I feel like I've dropped 10. But look, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something because I think, I think it's important, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me adjust this thing. I feel like I have lost, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Sorry about that. I feel like I have lost weight. I wanna show y'all some. <sighs> because I noticed y'all can see there in my shoulders. You can see the definition in my arms and my shoulders starting to come through all this fat. And like I said, I ain't never been embarrassed about my body. I embrace it. But I've struggled these last 10 weeks. And if you go back, you'll see multiple of these episodes are about struggling. And that's all right because I'm not gonna sit up here on this YouTube and lie to y'all and tell y'all, oh, the one thing I have done and I haven't done is I have kept going every day to the gym. Is that right, son? Yeah. Say it louder so they can hear you. Yeah. And the one thing I haven't done is quit. Have I quit, son? Mm -mm. No, say it so they can hear you. No. No, I haven't quit. Now here's what I have learned. My body is significantly stronger. And while this is all about refinement and fine tuning, I guess I need to figure out and really hone in on, um, hone in on 
what workouts and food combination will allow me to hit my goals. Because obviously I haven't figured it out. And I've been meal prepping. And this week, I don't know if y'all can tell, but this part of my face, slightly swollen, I had a molar back here removed yesterday. And they told me that I need to eat for the next five days salt foods, jellos, puddings, ice creams, cold stuff. Nothing with grains in it, so no rice, no beans, no meats. Um, nothing spicy, nothing hot. Um, the reason they said no meats because it breaks up into smaller pieces. I got a bone fragment in here they put in, and um, or bone graft, I think, a bone graft, and they sewed it up. So there's special sutures there that I actually have to go and get taken out. They don't just dissolve on their own. So that that was kind of a <clears throat> punch to the mouth, but I took it. But I'm frustrated. My journey should have been down another 30 pounds by May 1st. Because this leg started on February 1st. February, March, April. That's 10 pounds a month I should have been dropping. And I haven't. And partially that, that fucks with me. But I'm going to keep my head in the game, persevere, and figure out what else I need to do. Last episode, I told you I called my cousin. And he said, man, just keep working out. Keep working out. Keep doing what you're doing because your body knows you didn't hit a plateau. But the only way to hit, break through a plateau is to break through it. And so I'm going to keep going until I break through it. Because then when I break through it, I'll see the other side of success that I want to see. So I'm going to take that advice and use that. Now, it's currently 4.58. I'm gonna get dressed and go for a run. Normally we do everything in the morning, but this morning, what do we do, son? Was arms, chest, was chest. And we got a little competitive, me and the guys. <laughs> right, who came out on top, son? You. Who? You. Who's you? Kush. Kush came out on top. <laughs> Yes, sir. So yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, um, we didn't get to go walking this morning or running or whatever. So I'm gonna go now. I appreciate y'all. I got two more weeks left in this particular season, and the next season is loading. Cause then it's May, June, July, three months. And I have to do it. I got to get down to 250, or no, I'm sorry, 260, 270. Otherwise, I'm way behind the ball. Two weeks left in this season. That's where I'm at.